Yeah, that's personal preference, so. Whatever you like, you go ahead and do that. I personally think it looks better like this. Um, just for my taste. And... Uh, and another thing you can do is, uh, instead of doing that, is using the edge selecting, which... I know what you're thinking, oh my god, those are a ton of edges, and there's no loop tool in GMAX. It's, it's exactly what I was thinking. Or you can use this. And just select out all of these and move them across. Or probably the easiest thing yet would be to select all of these. And this is probably the easiest thing you can do as far as uh, what I'm about to do. So, alright, you're gonna actually that's just it. You're gonna pull all of these back. Alright, and. Go ahead, move this one back to where it was originally, which is right here. Actually, we're gonna move all of these kind of over. Yeah. And that kind of gives the same effect, and this is kind of how I like to have it. Um, and then, go ahead and move all of these. Forward a tiny bit. Okay. And now let's go ahead and. Alright, so here's our knife so far. Um, still to be unfinished. Um, basically, what we've got done in this video. I can't really see it too well. Maybe I'll make those a little bit uh, more apparent to my next video. But as you can see, we have the basic shape of the knife finished. And we also have the handle finished. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the first video or second video. But yeah, um, I'm just going to continue working on this really quick. Then uh, be probably third or fourth video. So yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, really quickly here, we're going to use our vert, and we're going to select just all these verts right here. And this is a little bit difficult, I mean it's not that bad. Uh, I've done a lot worse, so not really too much to complain about. There we go, that's a better look at I think, uh, personally. It's a lot okay, so uh, basically I actually ended up fixing up all of these uh, stupid cab studio crash while I was doing it. So you got like half of this video. So, alright, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, just stop with the knife for right now, uh, or the blade. So we'll go ahead and hide the blade hide it and um, and we're just gonna work on the hilt right now which is this thing and we're just gonna make it a lot a little bit more round and I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more like plasticky look so let's go ahead and do that now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, slice play and then we're gonna also take down some of these things because that's a little big and do some chamfering and this could be fun. 
Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and do this now. Uh, let's see. First things first, we're going to go ahead and scale in this because that's a lot, a lot too wide. Alright, um, let's go ahead and use that scale tool. And right here. Looks like I have to deselect these, and there we go. Okay, so about that would be good. And now down here, we actually had the opposite problem. It's this side. It's um, too much, so let's go deselect those. And okay. Next thing we're going to do is some chamfering. Well, uh, probably one of my favorite things to do in Max, um, either G Max in this case or 3S Max. I just love chamfering. It's, it's kind of an addiction. All right, um, we're going to chamfer these boxes here and here, and uh, yeah, you'll see what it should look like in a second. Let's go ahead and. Uh, just select all of these edges. The easiest way to do this, obviously, is um, like this. So let's come to the back. Okay, so we'll start off by chamfering these. Chamfer, chamfer, I love. And we'll just, we're just going to uh, champ for this a little bit. It's not going to be a lot, really. But just about that is all we need for the um, top one. The bottom one, however, we're going to be using a lot of chamfer on. Just kind of making it even like a cylinder kind of look to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and champ for these. I just want to say chamfer. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Let's check that out. Looks like on this side it messed up a little. Oh, yeah, okay. That's my problem right there. Deselect that, and let's go ahead and this again. So, round and one more. Okay. So, now you should have something that looks similar to that at the bottom of your. Old thing, and uh, oh, we're gonna go into polygon. We're gonna select this polygon and move it out. Uh, get a little too far up there. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So select that polygon. Up there. Okay, there we go. Let's check it out. It should look about the same. That's too much right here. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Alright. So now we have uh, almost this whole thing done. Next thing we're going to do is slice plane. Alright. So this is a fun tool to use if you've never used it before. Basically what it does, it's kind of like a connect tool. Um, almost. So you'll see it in a second. So let's go ahead and slice that. All you have to do is click slice on it and it should automatically slice it for you. Uh, doesn't, like that's not doing it. Maybe we use split and then slice. Oh, okay. Just use perspective, I guess. Alright, slice should work now. That is quite odd. Uh, Never mind, I know why it's not slicing. Okay, go into edge mode. Slice, there we go. Move it over here. The left side. Slice. And go ahead and move it again one more time. 
that's one good thing about having all these edges is you can uh, basically pinpoint exactly where we want all the slices as you can see it's just a little bit over that 